Hey everybody, welcome back. David from Atomic Candy and Miss Lady Pop Hunter. I Hi found her. Now, on our Instagram, mm -hmm. I have Instagram, it's open by chance on Instagram, and we put a lot of stuff up on there. Max the Photog, Max the Photog <laughs> sent me this link because apparently it was announced on Twitter mm -hmm. that Funko is having a fan survey. So we wanted to take a look at that fan survey and share it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that survey. Okay. So we're going to take this survey and I'm going to put a link to it down below also so everybody can see it. So it says, how do you fan? Everyone is a fan of something. We'd like to learn more about how you fan in order to better meet your needs. Thanks for getting around to that. You came out when, 19? No, not 19. 2000, something right? Was it 19? No. Um, well, they started making pops in 2010. <clears throat> uh, but, uh, but still, that was, what, eight years ago? We've got questions about your favorite fandoms, items you collect, and what you do with your treasures after you've acquired them. Have fun and don't think too hard. And I'm sure they don't want that. Yeah. So forbid. start the survey. It says, what Funko products do you collect? Okay. Pop, pops. Pops. Dwarves. dwarves um, I do with, you, with wacky wobbles. Yeah, you get and wobbles. The vinyl. The, vinyl. Right there. Yeah. Home goods. I didn't know they did home goods. Action figures, digital, What's all of the above. Digital? Oh, they, they actually have digital pops that you can like put on your phone and stuff. Mm. You got to pay for that? I don't know. I think so. Mm. I wouldn't be interested like, in that. Mm. Continue. How long have you been purchasing or collecting Funko Pops? Would we be in the one to five category? Okay. They haven't been doing it for ten years. Mm -hmm. How can you be collecting pops for ten plus years and they've only been out for like less than eight? I don't know. What is your favorite Funko product to collect? I don't know. I guess the pop. Pop store, Bob Kenny. Okay. Do you like the vinyls? Yeah, you know. I do. Vinyl. Oh, you can. Oh, only you pick can only one. pick one. Oh, oh. crap. Mm. That's <laughs> plushies, digital, all of the above, wobblers. Mm -mm. Vinyl. I wonder how many fun addicts are just going to click all of the above and act like they're all, all in. Yeah, and they're really not. Yeah, I guess it, it'd be the pops, although I'm kind of hung up on the Masters and Universe Dorps. Yeah. Continue. How much do you spend monthly on Funko products? 300 or more. Wow. Wow. Who does? Does. A lot of people do. I don't know, 50 or less? Because we don't buy it. We haven't done it. We haven't bought any for a while. Yeah. The most we would do is 50 to 100. Okay. So I guess 50 to 100 is yeah. fair. It's a fair answer for now, unless Funko makes us really mad again. Yeah. Could happen. Never know. They sure did piss people off at Mr. Rogers this uh, past week. I know. What best describes your reason for collecting Funko products? I love the design no. of Funko products and will collect anything they produce. No. Wow, that's bold. Yeah. It's a fun way to show off my love of particular fandoms. That's kind of true. I'm a collector of many things. Funko just happens to be one of them. That's true. I think that's probably the most accurate one. Yeah, well, read the rest. I'm buying them as gifts for other people. No. Funko recreates great characters, moments, and stories from pop culture. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Besides Funko pop products, what other collections do you have? Yeah, a ton. See. I'll just name a couple. Yeah, yeah. He types fast. Thundercat. You got those, um, what do you call those things? Inhumanoids. Uh huh. Well, that's, I'll, I'll just say. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, it, without, go, pages. without going into too many details. Mm. Where do you display your Funko products? Mark all. In my workspace, no. around my home, no. in my car, yeah, mm. so you can fade them out. In a particular area for Funko products only, mm. on online on Instagram, I don't display them. I guess around the home. Yes, that makes it sound like it's all over the place. Yeah, well, that's what they want. They want mm. you to be a fanatic with stuff everywhere. 
Which best describes the product's displays of your Funko collection? Everything stays in the box. Yep. Most things stay in the box. Some are in boxes, some are un. Most are unboxed. Everything is unboxed. Obviously, we don't like opening them. Yeah. They know this stuff. If they if they ever read their Twitter or Facebook pages, mm -hmm. they would know all of this yeah. already. Everything we've said. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the top three forms of entertainment represented in your collection? Mm -hmm. Top three: movies, TV, music, sports, anime, and games. I think is it three? Yeah, pick TV three. And movies, sports. TV, sports. Well, the WWF wrestling. WWF considers sports. Yeah, because we don't so. do music, anime, or games. Well, in theory, the anime, because I'm into the classic anime like oh, Shogun, yeah, Shogun Warriors, and stuff from like the '70s and '80s, oh, okay. not modern stuff. So oh. I guess that counts. Either one of those could count. Well, yeah. Oh, it lets you pick four. It did let me pick four. Okay, that's good. I, if I can get away with that. What is your favorite genre of Funko props? Pops. TV. Movies, TV, music, sports, anime, games. I don't know why they don't have it. Um, they have anime, but they don't have animation. I think Oops. Oh, it's yeah, going to make me take one off. All right, I'll take the sports off. Mm, they caught you. Yeah, they did. I got busted. What is the estimated size of your collection? One to fifty. One, yeah, I guess so. One to five. A thousand or more. Some people do. And they, they've already released more than a thousand this year. I know. That's too much. <laughs> it's a lot. What is your favorite venue to buy Funko products? Online. Online. Yeah, uh, it's getting to that point because in stores, I mean, look at what they did with the Solo Pops. They had 21 figures. 11 of them are are exclusives to somewhere, and you've got to run all of the creation yeah. put the set together. And then sometimes in the stores are beat up. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. when you buy it online, it comes in beat up. But at least you can find it online, and you don't have to waste your gas driving all over the place just to find out that they don't have it. A lot of people are upset about the solo pops because mm -hmm. of that, because yeah. they have to run everywhere all of the creation. Oh, please where indicate you where you buy them. Funko Shop. Uh-uh, we do Funko it. Funko shop uh, occasionally. occasionally. Well, we used to, but we haven't been able to get him in get in there since like what the third or fourth day of the twelve days of Christmas? No, because I got the Bugs Bunny. Oh yeah, the flock bugs bunny. That was the last time. Every, any other time we tried well, we failed. Funko yeah, store never. Never. Yeah. Amazon very frequently. Frequently. Uh, very. Well, very, very frequently. Target. Never. never. We hate Target. Walmart, Holly, and no, okay. never. Barnes and Noble, occasionally. occasionally. Yeah. Hot, Hot Topic, topic occasionally. Yeah. Think Geek, never. GameStop. Well, in GameStop, it's the it's same. It's the same thing. But we haven't bought Pops in GameStop forever. Yeah, that's why you put occasional. Well, all right. A Walgreen, occasional. FYE, yeah. occasional. Entertainment Earth is this one. Okay. Best, Best Buy, buy never. never. eBay, occasionally. Uh, well, no, uh, yeah. Because we buy them off of there. Often? Yeah. All right. Have you ever visited the Funko no. headquarters? No. Yeah, we're going to fly out to miss. Seattle so that we can stand in line for six hours. Yeah. That's going to happen. <laughs> if, if you know. Oh, if you were aware they had a retail store, yes. Yeah. We are not going to fly to Seattle or Everett, wherever, to stand in line. What is your favorite Funko license represented in fandom? Wetmore Force, Disney. NFL, Five Nights at Freddy's, Disney, NBA, NHL, Marvel, MLB, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Overwatch, DC Comics, Stranger Things, other, well, Masters of the Universe. They have another. Yeah. Is that your favorite one? I like Disney. I, got, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I think hey. they'll only let you pick one. Okay, other. Well, oh, the Masters and G.I. Joe and that kind of stuff is probably my favorite, but yeah. if you have another favorite, I can type it in here. No, not really. Okay. We're getting there. Have you ever attended an event involving no. Funko, such as Funko Days, Comics, Cons, ever? Mm -hmm. No. No, not yet. You don't, you can't just say no. They have, you have to imply that you're going to eventually. Yeah, yeah you're going to get around to it. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't gone to a Funko-specific event. If you have not attended an event involving Funko, would you consider going? No. No. Why not? Why not? Not in my area. <laughs> Lines too long. Not readily.
readily available. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Yeah. Or you want to say something else? Lines will be too long. <laughs> and items won't be available. Available, yeah. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Have you ever gifted Funko products to others? Yes. We've done a few giveaways with those on the channel. Yeah. Have you ever traded Funkos? Yes, mm -hmm. I've traded them. Have you ever sold Funko products from your personal collection? No. Yeah, I've, well, I've oh, sold a really? couple. I've mm -hmm. sold a couple, but you know, I don't like do that that much. Yeah. What country do you live in? Afghanistan. I should say something crazy. It mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. No, we don't even sell there. United States. If U.S., what state? Figure it out. Here we go. God, leave a bunch of zip code and everything. Jesus Christ. Probably wouldn't know how much you make. They usually ask those questions. Select your age. Not really? Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What best describes your house? See, they want to know. They told you. Married or farm, shipped family with children. I know they was um, going to ask you your income. Thank you for completing the survey. Yeah, now, I was told, and part of the reason that I wanted to do this, mm -hmm. and you know, I've recorded this, so I've recorded the that part of it so that we can show it while we do it. Mm -hmm. I was told also that it was going to request, it was going to ask people whether or not they flip. Mm -hmm. Well, it I think that not, meant, I think that's what they meant by selling on sell, their personal But they didn't connection. literally come out and say, do you only buy Funko to turn around and sell it? Because mm -hmm. that's what the flipping indicates. Yeah. And they did not ask that question. No. So I was, I'm kind of disappointed there. But like I said, I'll go ahead and I'm going to put a link to that survey down below mm -hmm. so that you can go ahead and take it yourself. Because, and th this is something that they should have long since done, but it really, they're really just trying to figure out demographics. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to find out, like, are you, is there anything that you would change? Yeah. Are you upset about anything? Yeah. Do you have any problems? Yeah, they're not trying to improve. Yeah. They're not, that doesn't seem to me like they're trying to improve. You're right. It seems to me like they're just trying to get more demographics yeah. so that they can better market. Yeah. So I'm a little disappointed in that survey, but we went ahead and did it. And there you go. And like I said, the link will be down below. Go ahead and check the survey out yourself. Mm -hmm. If you would like to, um, if you got anything out of the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. We do have a PO box if you would like to correspond with us directly. Mm -hmm. And I will put that down below as well. Anything else? No. No? All right. Well, that being said, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Other hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs>